Hello, you're watching a brief demonstration of sales order picking multiple using RF Smart for NetSuite. What you are seeing is a live mirroring of RF Smart on a Zebra TC70 Android device operating in real time against NetSuite. RF Smart can be used on a wide range of Android and other devices. From the main menu screen, I'm going to select sales order picking multiple. This version of sales order picking is great if your process benefits from picking multiple orders at a time and sorting them into appropriate containers as you go. In this demonstration, I'm going to consolidate two sales orders together into one single picking route for the RF Smart user. As I scan each sales order, you'll see the sales order number and customer name appear in the list on the screen. If I accidentally scan a sales order that I don't want to pick, I can simply click remove. These are the two orders that I'm going to pick, so I'm going to click begin. What you can see is it's taken the lines from each of those two sales orders, sorted them into bin sequence for a natural pick path through the warehouse and presented them to me in that order. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the first product, which is the carrot coffee dripper. And what I need to do now is identify the bin that I'm picking from. You'll notice there is an alternate bins button there on the screen, which would allow me to pick from a different bin if for some reason I couldn't pick from the recommended bin. And now it's going to ask me for a quantity. And what's important here after I enter the quantity is it's going to ask me to confirm that I'm placing that product into the carton for sales order 9713. And it asks me to scan the sales order number to confirm. If I scan a sales order number that's incorrect, it's going to tell me that I'm placing the product into the wrong box. If I scan the correct one, the transaction will proceed. And what you'll notice is I've got the same product coming up again. It's saying pick one more, and that's because this product was actually on both orders. So I pick my second one, and then I scan the sales order number to confirm that I'm placing this one into the correct box. And now because I finished picking that item, I get back to the list. In this case, I'm going to select the hanging grass green tea light, and then I'm going to scan the bin to confirm that I am in fact picking that product from that bin. And then I'm going to enter a quantity. So the first quantity I'm entering is a quantity of 10. And then I'm going to scan the box to indicate that I'm placing those 10 into that box for that order. And then because this product is also on both orders, there's a further quantity of three that I'm going to pick to place into the second box. Now for the final product on the order, the earthenware olive plate. Once again, I confirm the bin that I'm picking from, and then I enter my quantity. In this case, this product is only on order 9713. So if I scan that, that's confirmed my final picking line. And if I go ahead and click submit, it's going to create two item fulfillments, one for each order for all the products that have been picked. This version of sales order picking is great for keeping orders separate, but picking multiple orders at the same time. Thank you for watching.